You want me to turn it? Yeah, would you please? Are you filming? Uh-huh. Oh, yes, thank you. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay. Are you ready? Uh-huh. This is also a Fabergé copy in that this is a trellis design that he used on many of his eggs. And all egg artists are very fond of using this because you cannot distinguish where the opening is. If you'll notice, you turn it around and it all looks just about the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. But it does open. And another one of Fabergé's surprises is that he always has an egg and an egg, or a surprise and a surprise, and sometimes two and three times. And in this case, what I have done is have an egg inside this little brass trunk. That is a finch egg, and it is made into a necklace. which can be worn. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. This is a Rhea egg which is the second largest egg that I work with, okay? The outside of it was covered with a lace foil and cut out around the lace foil, all right? The whole thing is, is uh, man-made. This, the base is made also by hand. I made the whole base also by hand, so everything is made. Okay, the Christmas tree on the inside has uh, jewels, is made from leaves that are put on one at a time and it is lit with fiber optics which I'll light for you in just a minute. Also on the inside as you can see are three mirrors that will reflect this light once you turn it on. I'm going to turn this around for you so you can see. Now really you don't get the full effect of, of the lights unless the lights are off. So, <laughs> you know, when you're filming this, this is not going to really show you how pretty it is because it really needs to be in a dark thing. But now okay, we can do that. All right. Okay, I'm going to light it for you. Mmm. Okay, hold on. Let's cut. What do you want me to do with it? Turn, Turn it around. around. Yeah, oh, that's bright. Are you able to get the lights reflected in the mirrors? Because mm -hmm. this is what is so pretty to me. It was very difficult to cut out. And the tree was hard to put together because each one of the little separate leaves that you see was put on separately. I call it the all bug band and the little figures in it are little bug figures that are playing instruments. It is a music box and it also turns around. So I'll turn it on for you. 
and it plays in the good old summertime. show you this one first since it's okay this egg is really a simple egg uh, in design uh, there's nothing fancy about the opening to it or anything it does open and has a mm -hmm. figure on the inside of it this is a Christmas egg obviously but I think the pretty thing about the egg is that each one of these pearls is put on individually. Let me turn it for you. Okay. <laughs> Each one put on Each it. one is put on individually. Takes a while. many hours. These these eggs take many hours to do, uh, which is why they're, you know, rather unique, uh, is the time. This is our New Orleans Mardi Gras egg, and uh, I'll let you get the, the full... I'm, I'd like to turn it around for okay. you before I open it up, because you can see that the, the back... Uh -huh, uh -huh. has the mask mm -hmm. and uh, okay okay it has a replica of itself on the inside as you can see and that egg opens also yeah Okay. It's open. Oh, is it? Okay. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Okay. Okay, let me close it then if it's open. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. Mm -hmm. See, it's a replica of this egg. <laughs> okay. Okay. This is a working clock. It's a mechanical wind-up clock. And it's in an ostrich egg, which is the biggest egg I work with. And it is kind of Victorian Baroque in design. It has silk pictures on the sides and in the back. And I will show you the back opening where you can get to the mechanics of the clock to wind it. Okay? Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Okay. So what are you filming? Are you filming okay. this one? I'm filming this little egg right oh, now. Oh, all right. Let's 
Okay, now you're talking about... I'm talking this, this egg, okay. which is a jewel box. Okay. Mm-hmm. Now, it is beaded, but these beads are not really put on one at a time. As you can see, they are put on in a circle mm -hmm. around this way, so they don't have to be put on one at a time. These are. Each one of these are put on, but not the pearls. Okay. Okay. This egg... It's a very small ostrich egg that I have scored partially to give the impression of ice. Mm -hmm. And it's my little igloo. <laughs> little igloo? Okay. Okay. This is the little red schoolhouse. It's an ostrich egg. It opens, and on the inside of the desk, the teacher and corn shuck, the blackboard. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay. Everything's made by hand. You know, all of the wood and everything is cut out by hand and made by hand. The little outhouse. <laughs> A little um, seesaw. Mm-hmm. All right. This is an apple. This is very, very simple, but it is real cute. It's an apple. It's two eggs that are cut off center and glued together to make to form the shape of the apple, and then it opens and has a happy worm on the inside. <laughs> My studious worm. <laughs> this is eight or nine um, quail legs that are glued and cut to fit so that they would make the shape of a worm. Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a real fish tank. It holds water. I have had a fish in it, swimming. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay. And then the rest of these. So this is a tea set. Made out of eggs? Yes. Everything up there is made out of eggs. And this is my egg collection. These are some rare, some very rare, some not so rare. Some I have papers on. Really? Oh, yeah. Some of them are illegal, and if I didn't have papers on them, I could be put under the jail. <laughs> Yeah.